Hi and welcome to this Fusion 360 tutorial. Today we're going to look at the Pattern on a Path feature in Fusion 360. As you can see on the screen in the left hand corner are the challenges that we're going to complete today. And if you like any of the final models, please check the link in the description below. So if you jump into Fusion. So what we're going to look at here is how do we create a pattern of a feature or a body along a path? So as you can see on the screen, I've drawn this spline, this curvy line on this top surface. And what I want is this body here, or this feature, to be patterned along there, okay, and curve around that shape instead of going in a circle or a linear pattern. So if we go up to create pattern, pattern on a path, we get the options here. So I'm going to select the features. So I'm going to select the extrude for now, and I'm going to miss out the other feature and there's a reason why I'll show you that. So path is going to be this path here. And what you might do is you might come up with an area. So this is until you've set some of these okay sizes here. So we're going to go for okay distance say 10 millimeters. And then at the moment you can see it's creating three within 10 millimeters. If I drag that now okay it's creating three instances within 50 millimeters. OK, so that's the extent. So from there, along that path, it's going 50 millimeters and creating three. So if you change the extent to spacing, OK, and I type in four, it's now doing 25 millimeters between each of those. So you're now controlling the spacing within it. OK, not the overall OK length. So that's important to know. OK, so. We've done, let's talk about this up next. So if I zoom out and we increase this, you can see what's happening. So it's gone on there, it's gone on like that. If you continue to increase the entities, by the time you get to the path, at the end of the path, and if you run out of path, it will just continue in a sort of a, a straight per, in the perpendicular line from there. So that's important to note that it will go off your path if you continue to click the quantity. Distances again, obviously you can change depending on obviously what you want. You can click on each or some of these, and if you want to turn them off for whatever reason, then you can. And you can always go back in and you can always turn them if it's zoom in and out, you can always turn them back on. Another thing to take note if I just spin this around is you can see the oval here, okay, it is copying copying the rotation of that oval so it's keeping that quite okay horizontal okay so it's got identical if i click path direction what watch what happens to these ovals they change because what it's doing is, is yeah i'm copying that but i'm going to try and start to follow the path and rotate those around that path so that might be okay what you want as well so depending on what you want you can go between those options there so we've looked at suppress, we've looked at quantity and distance, and we've looked at spacing, okay? Direction, okay, I've gone symmetric. Now the issue with this symmetric one is, as you can see here, is that it's going both sides of my feature, but it doesn't have a particular path to follow, so it's just coming off. So that's not what I want in this instance. But that could be an option depending on the design, okay, you've created. So I'm gonna go, Okay, one direction and click OK. Now, as you can see here, it is not copied, patterned that fillet. So you could go in fillet and add a fillet to all of these, so it's wasting time. If you right click, okay, objects, hold control, and select the fillet as well, that will then pattern along. Okay, so Fusion is quite clever. You can see that and you can pattern it along there, like so. So if we just uh, suppress that or delete it, so I'm going to delete that actually. You can see the original one I did here. And again, I'm going to uh, just suppress that, so hide that. And what I'm going to show you is this one here. So if I unsuppress it, okay, and I hide that and just show you, oops, turn that sketch off, that your line or your path that you use does not have to be curved. It can be straight, so you can use straight lines, okay, at an angle, of course, of different sizes. And again, you do the same thing. You go in, you select what features you want and what path, and it'll follow the same path. So you do not have to use curved paths, okay? It can be 
all right, a path that's made up of straight lines at different angles. So that's how you create a pattern along a path. When you're creating a pattern along a path, you don't have to create a path, which is a sketch. You can use an edge to pattern across. So what we've got here is basically a simple extrude, okay, which I've created here. I've extruded that out, and then I've added a cut going through it. Now, if I want this cut or pattern or shape here to go along that edge all the way along, okay, that's very easy to do. So we're going to go into pattern, okay, pattern on the path. What feature? This is the feature I want to select. And what I'm going to do is the path I want is actually this edge this time. I'm going to click that. I could drag this out and I could decide on obviously the spacing and the various things I want. So I could go right, okay, what I want is six of these and I'm going to judge the spacing to be 50 between them. Okay, depending on what you want. Or I could go a bit longer. I'm just going to drag them out to say 100 spacing. Let's type that in. Okay, so I've decided, okay, the total, sorry, in terms of the extent, so from there, along that path, 100 millimeters, again, six, okay, between, I'm going to click OK. So what that's done is, we'll go from this angle, is copied that particular feature, removed it from here, okay, and what it's done is kept the same angle along that path. And as we've seen before, you can adjust that. So I can go edit. And this time go path direction and click OK. And you can see now, and if this might be what you want, it might not be, but it's now taken that, it's gone along this path, okay, and it's basically following the path and curving as well and rotating, okay, as it goes around there. So that might be an option that you might want to choose. So that's how you can create a patterned, okay, feature without using a sketch. So what we've got on the screen is a design. So what I want is this sort of hexagon shape here to be patterned along using this edge, but I want it to actually form the same shape. So I want it to take into consideration that shape there. So if we go into rectangular pattern as we normally do, and we go features and select this feature here, we select the direction. So I'm going to use this edge and I drag this out and I say, right, okay, I want for those to that distance of say 70. Now, if I have the option of identical selected, I click on OK. You see here, what it's done is it's taken that shape there and repeated that as we go along. Now that might be what I want, okay, depending on my design. So it's taken that curve, it's worked out that geometry and it's patterned it across there. However, I don't want that. What I want is, yes, I want this same height, same size hexagon extruded down, but I want it to merge, okay, and take into consideration this curve. So if I right click on the feature, this is where you've got some options down here, which are, okay, uh, powerful in terms of creating different geometry. So if I go now to adjust, and click okay, what you'll see now, okay, is that as now, taken that design, copied this one, and now has actually followed that curve. So that's important to know when you're using that linear pattern is sometimes it's important if you don't get the outcome that you want, especially if you're using curves like this, is to use some of these options here. Okay, so identical as it suggests would take that, literally a copy of that design and pattern it across, where we adjust, okay, will basically go along there and adjust its shape to suit what it's merging into. So that's the last thing I'm going to cover on okay, linear pattern, but that is a very, very important thing to consider. Thanks for watching, and if you found this content helpful, please click like and subscribe, and also check out any other resources and videos created using the links in the description. I'll see you on the next one.